today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the Shanimals Pocket Pork Dumpling Series 1 Blind Box Figures. Indicated also down below, there is my plastic heart. This comes to us from the folks over at Shanimals. Very cool looking boxes before we of course get these opened up. I like the fact that they look like a Chinese food takeout boxes. Underneath, at Shanimals, you can go to www.shanimals.com. You can also go to www.myplasticheart.com. Manufactured by Squibbles Inc. Inc. That's I-N-K and then I-N-C Incorporated. Warning, this is not food. Item is intended for ages 14 and up. Spot has taken the liberty of getting six of these. We're going to open these up together and we'll find out which pieces we got inside. Um, trying to see what the easiest way to get these opened up. My guess is probably having to cut the seal in the top. I got old red for that. I believe this is the correct way of opening. Unless you fold the flaps open. Maybe that's the... Oh, wait. Yes, it is. Here we go. That makes things a lot easier. Inside, there is a plastic black bag. So we don't really know what's going to be inside. There's also a sticker. The same sticker that's actually on the front. There we go. First black bag, let's open this, this up, find out what we got inside. And, uh, shh, gotta be quiet, this one's sleeping. Uh, he's nice blue, nice blue color. It says Shanimals underneath my plastic heart, 2012 Shanimals. He's sleeping away, I wonder what he's dreaming about. Whatever it is, I don't want to disturb him. He's a cute little guy. Simplistic, yes, but very cute. Little eyes closed. Or his eyes have two smiley faces. That's something to brighten up your day as well. You're welcome. Okay, we'll put him down. We'll try not to wake him up. Let's move on to box number two. Now that we know what we're doing, we can open these up easy peasy lemon squeezy. Viewer commented that he'd never heard that before. I like to introduce old phrases. Phrases that you would think now, why is anyone saying that? That's, that's what I do. Uh, box number two is opened. Bag number two now is opened. And inside, we've got ourselves a happy pork dumpling. You see the difference? This one's sleeping. This one's cheerful. Nothing against the coloring as well. I don't think because he's blue, he's down, he's sad. Yellow, he's happy. It's just a, it's just a, con a convenient coincidence. And again, Shanimals underneath. So we got a blue one, a yellow one. Got some stickers as well. Opening up box number three. And box number three tells us, not nothing yet, because we haven't gotten it out. Love the packaging though. I love this takeout style box. That's really neat. Oh, there's also, hey, let's not forget the sticker. There's a sticker in there as well. We'll put that there. Bag number three, get that cut. And bag number three, oh, look at this one. This one looks like it's been covered in chocolate. That's a world I'd like to live in. Imagine being covered in chocolate, not hot chocolate. That would scold you, but imagine being dipped in chocolate just once in your life. Something that might be on your bucket list just as a one-time deal, right into chocolate. He's happy, I don't blame him. Imagine also being dipped into caramel. Mm. Although caramel tends to be on the more hotter side because it is, after all, cooked sugar. That would be a little more of a hotter treat. Oh, also forget the sticker. Hey, can't keep forgetting stickers there. Put the sticker right up there. And let's see who's going to be joining the adventures of the Dumpling Gang. Not the Apple Dumpling Gang. That's Disney. Disney owns that stuff. Oh, hey, this one. This one's a girl. Eyes wide open. I love the light reflection on the eyes. And a nice touch. I like that. Underneath again, Shanimals. We'll put that up there. We'll put her up there. Two more boxes left. Let's open up box number five. And we got ourselves another sticker. So far, so good. What do you mean by that? I'm not going to say it just yet. You can kind of see where I'm going with this, hopefully. Bag number five gives us... Now this one looks like it might glow in the dark. 
it might. I'm going to hold it up to the light. Light, light, light. Let the light shine in. Face it with a grin. Something about winners always win and losers always lose. I think losers never win. That's usually how it goes. Let's cut the lights. See if it glows. And it does. Although, not as much on camera, but take my word for it. It's glowing a bright green in hand. A glow-in-the-dark pork dumpling. That's pretty cool. All right, so we put that one right there. At least we know if the lights go out, old Glowy back there will shine the light on us. He'll be like the Rudolph of pork dumplings. And finally, the last box for the pork dumplings. Let's make sure we, of course, grab our sticker. Put that right there. The last bag tells us, not yet, nothing yet. We haven't opened it. But the final bag, Oh, hey, we left a good one for the last. Look at this one. This looks like maybe like a cookies and cream. I know for a dumpling, I don't know, a pork dumpling. It's gray. I love that. Kind of looks, oops, kind of looks like it's made out of rock. In real life, maybe this is not a dumpling you'd want to be eating if it's made out of a rock. It sounds good, sure, but no matter how well they sell that on a menu, I don't know if you should be eating ones that look and taste like rocks. I like this one. This one might be my favorite. I love the dipped chocolate one, but this one might be my favorite. Pretty cool. Uh, today we were having a look. There's the box right there. Today's collectible spot. We were having a look at the Pocket Pork Dumplings Series 1 Blind Box Figures. To check out more, you can go to www.shonimals.com. Certainly stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. Thanks for watching, as you always do. See you next time.